I'm going to be making a uh, delicious root vegetable sort of casserole with a crispy top in this clay cooker. It's called a Roman Toff. I've got all my vegetables in it right now, but basically it has a top and a bottom that's made out of clay and uh, has a kind of glazed interior. And then um, about half an hour before you cook it, you soak the whole thing in water. So that's what I'm doing right now. There's no particular reason why I'm making it in this. I've rediscovered these pots um, recently uh, when I was kind of do going through my kitchen and I this morning I made chicken and potatoes for Eddie. He loved So it. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it with the veggies. So regarding the veggies, I have a couple of ribs of celery and some onion, butternut squash. I'm gonna use one of these uh, golden beets. I have a couple of uh, potatoes. I'll probably add more potatoes, but, and some carrot, and I have a leftover sweet potato. So I'll be slicing those all up and laying them in the bottom of this um, dish that I've already soaked for about half an hour. For some reason, you gotta do that so they don't break in the oven. I have put the oven to 375, so let's get started. We are definitely having a little issue with uh, the sun here, but I think we're gonna be fine. Um, I peeled and cut up half of a small butternut squash. I peeled and sliced up um, uh, the half of the sweet potato. I used four potatoes and sliced those up. And I took the, um, the carrot, the uh, onion, the celery, and the, the golden beet and just chopped them into little pieces like this. And I'm gonna just sprinkle that in between the layers. Can you see that? There we go. All right. I've started with a stick of margarine, imperial margarine from Dollar Tree. You can use butter, whatever you want. I'm going to put a small amount in the bottom, and I'm going to start layering um, all, my th all my things here, all my uh, veggies. It's going to be kind of like a lasagna. Put these at the bottom, and we'll tuck in the other vegetables. Oops. I slice these fairly thin. The thinner you slice them, the the faster they um, end up cooking. So there we go, there's layer one. And I'm gonna just start tucking in the other veggies in between. And just like that, it's a good example. <clears throat> it's not an exact science, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as we get everything in there. So kind of like that. I'm gonna take some of my uh, up some of my uh, chopped up veggies and do a small sprinkle. And I'm gonna take my margarine, butter, and go over it like this. And I'm gonna continue building this uh, over the next few minutes. There you go. I'm gonna just continue layering. And here's my last layer. I'm gonna put some uh, of these chopped up veggies here. And I'm gonna finish up with the potatoes and the slices of uh, butternut squash and of sweet potato. And then when this is uh, finished, I'm gonna put the rest of the margarine on top. I probably will need to melt more margarine. I just used one cube, um, which is about half a, half a cup. And I, I imagine I'm gonna need to use a little bit more. So there we go, all kind of layered. And I just reached to the top. These do tend to sink a little bit, but they're really delicious and pretty, and I'll probably eat this in just a couple of days. I might even get Eddie to eat it, even though there's uh, vegetables in it. Who knows? Miracles happen. All right. We are here. And let me get the rest of this on top. Good flavoring. And I'm going to warm up a little bit more um, margarine and pour it over the top. Here we are. Again, the sun is a little bit of a problem. I went ahead and uh, softened up another half of a uh, stick of Imperial and I'm just gonna pour that on top right now. We're gonna need the second stick, the second half, I think. Maybe not, there's still some in there. And I'm going to put the lid on. I've already warmed this to the oven to 375. And again, you can use any casserole you want with this. I happen to be using this because it's out, but I've done this in corningware with foil on top or whatever you got, but I thought it would be fun to try it in this. 
All right, I'm going to stick it in there and cook it till it's done. Unfortunately, wherever I want to be, the sun wants to be too, so I'm hand holding this. The margarine is all melted, um, and I'm going to be adding some panko from the Dollar Tree to it. Here's the panko. It's just wonderful. A uh, dollar. I use it for um, frying everything, like zucchini and all sorts of stuff. So I also like to use it for this crispy topping. So I'm just going to pour some in and mix it and pour and mix. Start like this. To get kind of a good consistency. Could use a little bit more. And we're going to basically put this on top. Sorry for the lighting. Such a mess. Move that over. A bit more. Fix it. That looks good enough. You want it kind of like this. We're just going to be sort of getting a fork or a spoon and just layering this on the top. Good enough. Doesn't that look amazing? It's still steaming from the oven. So I'm just going to take this topping and just kind of layer it over the top, mixed up with the margarine, till all of it is covered. There it is, and if you want more topping, you can certainly melt more margarine or butter and put more panko in it and just layer to your heart's content. I'm going to stick this back in the 375 oven without the lid for a few minutes to brown that top. And here it is, the browning of the crispy topping. Took almost as long as cooking it. Not quite sure what that's all about. It smells so good. You can gussy this up with garlic, with Greek seasonings, Italian seasonings, or whatever you want. I happen to just like it exactly the way it is with the wonderful flavor of the vegetables coming through. I think this is a great dish. It's delicious. And what a nice party or potluck dish because hard enough to believe, but eventually we'll be doing that sort of thing again. Anyway, enjoy your cooking, enjoy your vegetables, and thank you so much for watching.